Hey everyone, welcome to Prayer Night. We are glad you're here joining us tonight. Um, you know, we've been gathering as a staff, um, usually in person, and we pray weekly and together for you and for anything that God puts on our hearts. And we've done that ever since I can remember. But since moving to uh, the pandemic, we've been doing this, I think now about a month and a half. And um, for the short time that we were not gathering together collectively to pray, we realized how much we missed it. So I just think I can say on behalf of all the staff, and not all of them are joining us today, um, but we just thoroughly enjoy uh, praying for you, uh, lifting up any needs that you have, uh, family members, friends, yourself. Um, so we just we just thank you. And I just want to remind you that we really only pray for something that you send to us. Uh, we want to respect your privacy and honor you. Um, so any requests that you have, you can begin sending them today. Uh, email them to info at bcbc.org and we'll be sure to pray for them. And hey, if you get a healing before prayer next week, <laughs> just let us know, send a, an update and um, we'll just continue praying. So. We're glad you're here. Um, we did record this earlier today, so we're restreaming it on Facebook. But we do have some of the staff moderating tonight. So if you have a prayer that you didn't get to include, just put it in comments and we'll lift it up in prayer. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to kind of start us off and center us a little bit um, before we get started. If I'm honest, I have to share. Um, I'm struggling today, and I know many of you are as well. Um, we have a lot of unrest in our nation, and it stirs a lot of emotion for each of us in different ways, and um, it creates a lot of unrest in us. And whether that's literal unrest or if it's just unrest in our hearts, um, I know that many of you are um, can empathize in that. And I have to admit, I don't understand. There are things that I cannot empathize with because I don't experience them. But one thing I know that we can all do is turn to God in prayer. And that's what I want to encourage us to do tonight. I want us to pray for our brothers and sisters. I want us to pray against the hate in our nation, um, in our state, in our hearts, um, in our church, in our families, in our neighborhoods. Um, I want us to come together in unity and to pray for oneness um, amongst us. So I want to share tonight from Second Chronicles 7.14. It says, Then if my people who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and restore their land. It's one verse and there's a lot of instruction that is given in that. We're to humble ourselves. We're to pray and ask for forgiveness. We're to seek God continually. And we're to turn from our sinful behavior, or it says our wicked ways in some translations. See, true repentance is more than um, just talk. It's a changed behavior. And that's what this really is. We don't like that word repent, but it's a good word. It's a healthy word. And it's a word that comes from um, God and love. So something that we hear frequently at vineyard is come as you are but don't stay as you are and that's what that's talking about it's transformation what is it that god wants to change in our hearts that are not aligned with him and regardless of who you are um and how holy you may seem there's always something god is wants to change in your heart um, he's putting his, his finger on so that's my question for each of us this morning before we get started. What is God putting his finger on in your heart, in your life? Where does he want to bring wholeness and healing um, and change, transformation? Um, you can come as you are. God will always love you. God loves each and every one of us just as we are. But it doesn't mean that he wants 
us to stay that way. He wants to produce fruit in us. So I'm going to take a few minutes and I just want to have us quiet ourselves and center ourselves before the Lord. Um, and to really begin first by looking inward. So if you just want to close your eyes, open your hands, I'm just going to invite the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. We know you're here and we know you reside in every follower of Christ. God, I just pray right now that you would illuminate yourself in us. We pray for more of your presence. We claim our need for you, God. We need your presence. And God, I, I know that you're putting your finger on things in our hearts that you want to bring healing to. So I just pray right now that you would make that known to each one of us as we wait on you. We welcome you. I just encourage you as you do look inward to remember to look upward. We thank you, God, that you don't leave us as we are, that you love us more than that. So God, I just pray for your help in laying those things down before you, to walk with you, through this process. God, help keep our hearts soft to you and the things that you want to form in us, the things that you want to change in us. May our hearts never grow hard or resistant to you. We thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Lord, we thank you, and uh, we just we declare today that you are the Lord of the heavens and the earth. That this is your world. That we are your people and. Even as Vicky was reading that scripture, <clears throat> my people called by my name. I um, just in this sort of introspective time in the in the in this crazy climate right now of so much anger and and so much injustice and so many questions. I I I thank you for the reminder that we are all your people, and I pray that you would root out of our hearts anything in us that lets us look at another human being, whether it's by the color of their skin or the way they're dressed or whatever it is, Lord, and just root out of us anything that dehumanizes another person. Um, I pray for our nation today. Uh, Lord, um, I just think you, you taught us to pray, your kingdom come, your will be done, let it be on earth as it is in heaven. And we ask Jesus, you're the Prince of Peace, that you would just exert your reign over, <clears throat> over the planet, over the U.S., over all these cities where there's uh, uh, just so much unrest and violence. Lord, I, I, I pray that you would, uh, well, I, I just pray that you would protect people in this season. I pray for, I thank you for the freedom to protest. I thank you for the freedom to stand up against injustice and to, and to, uh, to march and to let our voices be heard. But I pray, Lord, I just pray against the evil that would want to hurt people, that would want to destroy uh, just stuff. I just pray against that evil in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray against uh, that hate, uh, that anger, and I pray for peace. But I do pray, Lord, 
I pray for reconciliation in this country. And I, and I don't even know how to pray because I just feel like it's so big and it's so deep. Just the, the, this ugliness of racism. And we pray today, just, and I want to name them, George Floyd, we pray for his family, Arbery Ahmad, his family, Brianna Taylor, we pray for her family. And just, I cannot imagine the grieving and the pain and the anger and the sense of injustice. And so we just pray your comfort over those families, over their friends, and just that you would uh, come close and that you would love on those people. And I and, uh, thank you that you're with them. Uh, but we, we pray, Lord, that you would have mercy. We just ask for your mercy because we don't know what to do. And we don't know uh, um, how to respond. But I do pray that, uh, that you would, and I don't know how, Lord, but that you would be glorified through such ugliness and through such evil that you would be glorified. I pray for us as individuals. I pray as adults, as kids. Uh, we live at a time where news isn't just something we hear about. It's something we see, we graphically see. And I pray just for those that are really afraid and upset and struggling on how to understand and process just such ugliness and such evil. So I pray from the youngest to the oldest today for your comfort, that you would, well, that you would, I just see you standing up in the boat and speaking to the storm and saying, peace, be still. Jesus, again, you're the Prince of Peace, and we pray that you would bring peace to hearts and minds today of young ones and older ones who are really hurting and upset. Uh, so we, we ask, Lord, again, we just ask for your mercy over, uh, over our nation today. Thanks, Lord. And I, I pray, Lord, in all these cities where there's unrest, I pray that you would give churches wisdom. And I pray that the church would rise up and that the church would be a bright light in a dark, in a dark season. But I do pray for churches. Just show us again, how can we be your people in a time like this, Lord? Thanks, Father. Yeah, Lord, we we acknowledge, Jesus, that you died for all of these things. This is not your will. And Lord, we say we trust you. We trust you that your kingdom has come, and that it is coming, and it will continue, and that we can trust you in all of this. And Father, I lift up so many people who are sick and recovering from surgeries and illnesses, Lord. I lift up Kelly, who had back surgery a couple weeks ago. Father, continue to be with her in her recovery. We speak healing and strengthening over her body in Jesus' name. And Lord Kim, would you take away her knee pain? Her left knee, Lord, take that pain away. Father, we lift up Mary. Would you increase her energy? Would you stop the symptoms of fibromyalgia? And Lord, we lift up all those who are dealing with um, chronic pain, um, autoimmune diseases. We pray that you would align immune systems back into the proper function, back into the way that you've created our bodies to work. Lord, we lift up Sandy as she continues to recover from her liver transplant. Um, with the complications that she's been having, Lord, would you restore 
the things that are not working. Help her breathing, help her to breathe on her own, Lord. We just speak continued healing over her body. Strengthen her lungs, strengthen her body, her ability to walk. Father, we lift up Kathy. We pray for her breathing problems and heart problems. We pray, Lord, that upcoming tests would show exactly what's going on and what she needs to do um, to treat and take care of the things that are going on. Anything that she needs to change, Lord, would you give her the strength? And Father Stephanie, who's dealing with very bad asthma right now, we just speak healing and, and the ability to breathe into her lungs, Lord. Just give her that, give her that ability to breathe on her own without any problems. We lift up her parents, her mom and dad, who are each dealing with different infections. Lord, we speak healing over them. And would you give them strength? Would you give them hope in you? And Lord, Nellie, who needs healing for her lungs and improved breathing and oxygen levels. Would you allow her lungs to function properly? Would you restore her heart towards you? Pray that she would just desire, have a deeper desire to, to engage more with you, Lord. Give her hope in this, this time of fear and worry. And Lord, we lift up everybody who has breathing conditions, asthma, lung problems that are going on. Lord, you breathed life into each of us from the very beginning. And we pray that you would continue to breathe your life into their bodies. Lord, we lift up Chris. Father, we pray for a miracle. We speak to the cancer cells in his body and say, be gone in the name of Jesus. We lift up his family. We just pray your hope and your peace over them. And Father, for Phyllis, We pray that you would reverse the things that are going on with her lymph nodes. Would you bring healing to her body? We pray for peace for Phyllis's daughter, Lord. Holy Spirit, just comfort her right now in Jesus' name. We lift up L Willie's mom, who is healing from cancer. Lord, we pray continued healing for her, and we thank you. Thank you for your healing. We lift up Penny. Pray that her numbers, her cancer numbers, would continue to drop. We speak remission over you, Penny, in Jesus' name. We lift up Sally, who's almost finished with a round of treatment right now, and we pray for healing and strength for her. Thank you, Lord. And we lift up Sonia. Lord, would you continue to heal nerve pain from her recent surgery? Or to increase her range of motion for her arm, would you just bring healing to the effects of the surgery, Lord? <coughs> Excuse me. We also lift up her options for treatment and pray that you would give her wisdom. Pray that you would speak to her and make it really clear about what you would have her do for treatment moving forward. And Father, for, for all of these people, but everybody else who is fighting cancer, who's dealing with cancer, who have loved ones that are fighting and, and battling and dealing with this, we speak your peace, your strength, your healing, Lord, in Jesus' name. Would your mercy just fall on them? We lift up Robin. We pray that you would heal the eye problem. After years of, of treatments, Lord, the, the weariness and 
We just lift this up to you and pray your healing. We pray that you would lift the, the weight of this weariness. We speak healing to Robin's eye in Jesus' name. And Lord, for Kaya, we thank you that she's doing better. And we just pray for continued healing, complete healing and wisdom. And Lord, for your plans for her future, we lift up all that's on her heart for her future. We pray that um, her health wouldn't get in the way, Lord, that, that you would use it. We know that you use all things for good. So we pray that all that she's been dealing with, that it wouldn't have an impact on her hopes for the future and, and all that you have for her. Thank you, Lord. And I just, uh, as Jamie was praying for Kaya, I hope I'm saying that correctly. <clears throat> I just, Kaya, I don't know if, if you're going to see this, but I just felt like the Lord said that what he has for you, he has for you. And just. God, we just lift up our leadership to you. We ask that you would be close and bless our government, our nation, our state leaders that you would just guide them. I pray that they would seek you in the days and weeks to come. We do pray for wisdom, courage, and kindness in our state and our nation. We just submit to you, God. We submit everything to you. And just pray for the church as a whole. Help us to be who you've called us to be. Help us to search our hearts, God, and just to dive into your word, um, to love those around us with your amazing grace, with your mercy, and with your love. Um, we ask that you draw close to all the church leaders, and specifically for VCDC as well, God. Just be with our pastors. Just... Um, just give them that wisdom as well, Lord, that you would uh, help them to continue to make the decisions to keep us safe. And Lord, we just ask that you draw close to JT, Laura, and Olive. As they seek you, as they follow your will, God, as they head to Cleveland in just a few weeks, God. Um, you know their hearts, and we just ask a blessing over them right now in the name of Jesus. As they look to you for guidance, God, would you just, um, I just see this picture of like arrows and um, that just will guide them and, and doors will open up into what they do up there, God. And I just, I just thank you for that. I just thank you for um, just their hearts and what you're going to do through each and every one of them. Oh, Lord God, I, uh, I just ask that your Holy Spirit would come. Just come and uh, surround and saturate all those who are in need of your presence, Lord. Um, and as they call out your name, Lord, I pray you would just touch them. And Father God, I pray first, I pray just for folks who are struggling with mental or emotional needs or health issues, Lord. I pray that if, um, you would put folks in their path to help guide them and um, point them to you. I pray for um, fear and anxiety as we move through this um, I'm going to say it, unprecedented times. And uh, I just pray, Father God, that you would nurture their hearts. You would just love on them and keep them safe. And Lord, too, I also pray that we would just join in with Connie and uh, just pray for her son's mental health. Uh, you know what needs to happen there, Lord. You know what her prayers are and you know what his 
his desire is deep inside, Father God. So I pray you would cover them with your healing presence, Lord. And then also too, Lord, in this time where people are isolated and so forth, Lord, I pray um, for folks who struggle with addictions, whether it be substance, alcohol, pornography, I pray, Lord, that you would give them um, a taste of you and help them say no and uh, turn away from those sins of choice and let you be the choice that they make instead, Lord. I pray too that you would put strong accountability people in front of them or around them to help them uh, turn away uh, and turn towards you, Father God. Um, also, Father, you know, there's so many people right now that um, are unemployed or have financial needs, Lord, and I pray that you would supply that need, that you would be there and um, bless them, Lord. Also, Lord, I pray um, for Donna. You know, she's struggling, Lord, to be alone. And uh, I pray that you would somehow give her a means of um, companionship in this time of isolation, that you would just surround her and uh, I pray you would give her scripture and verses, Lord, that would um, give her hope in this time and keep her, her lifted out of the valley of depression. So we pray blessings over you, Donna. I pray he would draw really near to you today and tomorrow and the day after. Thank you, in Jesus' name. Jesus, I pray that you would just walk into our homes, Lord, walk into each of our households, whether we are alone or whether uh, we have a house full of children or um, whatever our circumstances, we just thank you that you are always with us. So I speak a blessing over each family I speak a blessing over each couple. I pray that you would draw near to children, Lord Jesus. I pray that from the smallest to the oldest, like Michael prayed earlier, that you would be near. And, um, and I come against fear and anxiety on behalf of each of our children in the name of Jesus. I pray that you would walk into dreams pray for sweet, sweet dreams, Lord, and that you would be present in the night and in the day in each household, Lord. I pray uh, for Connie, that, um, that as her marriage um, has ended, Lord God, that you would just bring healing, that you would bring comfort, that you would bring strength, and that you would help her to know that you promise never to leave or forsake her. Just come. And I pray for our children's school teachers and administrators and uh, staff, Lord God. I pray great wisdom. I pray uh, wisdom from uh, a government level clear down, Lord God, that you would help. Um, each to know how to care for the children in our communities, Lord Jesus. And I pray for our missionaries. I pray uh, that you would come near. And I pray, Lord God, uh, specifically for Felipe, who's in Brazil and is sick with COVID right now. We just speak healing over him right now in the name of Jesus. And I pray, um, healing over his uh, um, in protection over his family, his community, Lord Jesus, just um, come near, come near. Thank you, Lord.
And Lord, I just pray for all of those people who don't know you right now. Those who, who don't feel your presence in their life, who don't feel, uh, you know, who don't experience your love because they've never encountered you, Jesus, because they've never met you. Um, Lord, there's people who maybe aren't even aware of how desperate uh, they need you. Lord, I just I pray for all those people in our lives, our, our neighbors, our family members, our relatives, our, our friends, people in our communities um, that are far from you. And I ask, Lord, that you would make yourself known to them. I ask that you would use us to make yourself known to them. I pray, Lord, that we would we would be able to come and just share our stories, share what God has been doing in our lives during this time. Uh, and, and how we're finding hope in you, how we're finding peace and comfort in you, and that that would just be so attractive. That would be so attractive and so clearly evident in our lives that people would say, I, I want to know more about that. I want to know more about that kind of a God. I pray, Lord, that you would use this time where we're either stuck in our homes or we're scared, you know, and we're, we're racially divided. There's just so much going on, Lord, that you would be the great light uh, the bright light in, in people's lives, that people would come to know you. I pray that you would give us wisdom and boldness and courage to lovingly walk alongside others and uh, introduce them uh, to you. Just, I just thinking about in the Gospel of John where, you know, Philip, you know, invited Nathaniel, you know, where, where Andrew invited Peter, which is come and see. Come and see for yourself. And so, Lord, I ask, Lord, that you would give us um, the opportunities to do that, that we would be so blessed to just walk alongside people. And we don't have to have all the answers. We don't have to have it all figured out. We don't have to have our lives all together, but just come and see what Jesus is doing in my life. And so, Lord, I just yeah, I do. I pray for opportunities for that this week, um, conversations on the phone, people we encounter with. Uh, at the grocery store, wherever we're, whatever we're doing this week. If you, if there are people, Lord, that you want us to, to reach out to, would you just supernaturally put them on our hearts right now? Lord, would you bring people to our minds right now uh, that you want us to reach out to, to call or text, to just check in on, uh, to just say, I've just been thinking about you. God, just put you on my mind. Uh, you know, and how can I be praying for you? What's going on in your life? How are you doing? Um, and then, Lord, I just pray you would do great things through that. That you would, that people would open up and, and it would be an opportunity to share what God you've been doing in our lives right now. So, Lord, we just pray blessing on our community. I pray for revival in, uh, in our community that, that so many people would come to know you. Let's pray that in Jesus, in your name. God, we continue to just pray um, against the spread of COVID-19. Um, we believe in your power, and we'll keep asking for that as long as it's on earth, God. Um, and as we continue to begin to reopen in Ohio and throughout the U.S., we just ask for um, wisdom for all of us from government officials, school administrators as they prepare for the fall, business owners, um, and just general people, God, I just ask that you would teach us um, wisdom and empathy and patience during this time. Um, we pray for all of our healthcare workers and first responders, um, all of those that are heading back to work now. Um, and we lift up those who are in local prisons, whether they're inmates or whether they're employed there. We just ask for their safety, um, just that you would really guard them from the spread of COVID. Um, and we pray for Christy um, and for her coworkers um, at a, in a place where they are low on staff and they're exhausted. We just ask that you would give them um, energy and peace and keep them safe during this time.
God, we lift up Karina to you. Um, God, I just pray that you would open her mind and her heart um, just to um, more revelation from you, God. I just pray for wisdom for her and guidance. Um, we pray your plans for her and her life. I pray, God, that you would give her just a increase her hunger um, to spend time with you, to be in your presence, to read your word. Um, we just pray for, for more of you. We pray for her son um, who is in Brazil and needs to, to come back to the U.S. And we pray, God, that, um, that you would just make that happen before July 1st, specifically, God. We just pray for your provision, your favor, um, and I pray for just rest over her, her heart and her mind, God, that she can just stay close to you. We pray for Pamela, um, who's asking for a miracle. Um, God, I pray your kingdom come and your will be done in her life. And, um, I pray that you would just confirm things in her and things that you've spoken to her, that she would hear your voice above all things. And I pray for Janet, and, and really it's a prayer for all of us, for just a deeper love of you, Jesus, that above anything else, we would just desire you know, to know you, uh, to spend time with you, to be in relationship with you, to call you our friend. And God, I pray for, um, as we receive your love, that you would help us to embrace that love for others. God, your love brings healing. And I pray that most of all. I just want to um, remind us from 1 Corinthians 13. Uh, it says, love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not dishonor others, it is not self-seeking, it is not easily angered, it keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails so god we we thank you for your unfailing love for us um, god help us to receive that and pour that out to the world I just want to take a moment if anyone has any uh, words of knowledge or visions or anything else that's been put on your heart i want to give you the opportunity to share that before we close out Now I'll just close this in prayer. God, we just thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you that you always have been and you always will be. Um, we thank you for your goodness and we thank you for the miracles that you do in our lives every day. God, we just give all of these, we lift all of these uh, requests up to you. And we do pray, your kingdom come and your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We give you all honor and glory and praise. And it's in your name we pray, Jesus. Amen. Well, thanks for joining us, everyone. Um, remember to send your re prayer request to info at bcdc.org. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great evening. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.